People across the country are weighing in on the future of abortion rights, and we want to hear from you. Yeah, we have a poll going on right now, and you can vote on the 10 News app or on our website by typing in WSLS.com slash vote. And we've got it on the screen for you right now. I want to look down and take a look. It looks like right now the question is, do you think access to abortions should be a constitutional right? And Brittany... I think I'm seeing 69%, 69% to 31%. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. and this clearly either it's a yes or no for folks who are voting because no one is undecided on where they stand on this issue. Now, all of this comes after a Supreme Court draft opinion was leaked, revealing the potential for Roe versus Wade to be overturned. And 10 News reporter Sydney Jackstimer is working for you tonight to explain how people here in Roanoke are responding to this news. Yeah, so about a dozen people took to downtown Roanoke tonight to show their support for a woman's right to choose. They say this draft ruling is a direct attack on women's reproductive rights. Freedom means choice. This was the scene on the federal court steps in downtown Roanoke this afternoon as people came to terms with the fact that the Supreme Court could overturn Roe v. Wade. And I think what you're seeing here is just the amount of um, rage, anger, and fear uh, that has come because of the surprise leak last night of um, the Alito uh, draft decision. Monday night, a draft opinion was leaked from the Supreme Court, which showed five justices siding against the 1973 decision that gave abortion rights federal protection. If this opinion is finalized, abortion rights could fall into the hands of elected officials. I think I've been clear. I, I'm, I'm pro-life uh, and I've made that very clear from the moment I announced my candidacy. That's what Governor Glenn Youngkin had to say when asked about the court's draft opinion. Right now in Virginia, abortions are legal in the first and second trimester of pregnancy. They are also legal during the third trimester only if continuing the pregnancy is likely to result in the death of the woman or impair the woman's mental or physical health. We want fewer abortions in Virginia, not more. We, in fact, don't believe that you should, you should be able to get an abortion all the way up through and including birth. According to the Virginia Department of Health, more than 15,000 abortions were performed on Virginians in 2020, which is down compared to data from 2015 reporting 17,000 abortions. <laughs> Supporters of abortion rights are concerned if Roe v. Wade is overturned, other cases could be next. It attacks the right to privacy, which means that it might not just be reproductive uh, freedom on the line. It could very well be marriage equality. It could be access to contraceptions. This would be the first time that the Supreme Court takes away a constitutional right. And I don't think Americans are fully prepared to understand what kind of future that might mean. Now, the Supreme Court's draft opinion could change between now and when it's set to be finalized in the summer. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you. Protesters for and against this potential decision are demonstrating in cities across the country, from Washington, D.C. to San Francisco. They're gathering in front of federal buildings. There were also plenty of protesters in cities across Texas, where last year a law went into effect banning abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy.